welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here today I am planning for August 7th to the 14th and I'm using a printable kit by white rose printables and this week was actually the week where I really got back into reading I finished two or three books this week um, so I wanted to kind of utilize something that I guess um, reminded me of cozy vibes and also just like laying in bed and all that kind of stuff so i decided to use this kit i did use it in the past i think a couple of years ago but it's super cute it's also called cozy and it has kind of like a sailor moon theme which i really really love and i'm pulling in some extra washi from simply gilded to pair with this kit as well so how y'all been it's been rainy here which i really really love i feel like every time i segue into a different conversation other than my introduction, I always talk about the weather. <laughs> but it's been really nice. It's been super fall-like. The leaves are falling. Um, yeah, no, it's been raining a lot this week and I'm really excited because it feels like fall. But also, I told myself that I was going to start reading a lot because reading during the fall time just kind of, mm, I don't know, it's like a feeling that I crave every single day all year. But I haven't been reading that much and I think it's mostly because I just recently got prescribed um, sleeping medicine so I've been trying to catch up on my sleep and whenever I can sleep I will especially the week that we're currently living like the week of September 19th or whatever oh man I've been sleeping like crazy but anyway so for the spread I actually really like how it turned out but I think the foil that I used underneath my day covers I could have done something a little bit different like used a different kind of design these are actually um moon deco stickers that i was going to release in my shop like maybe three years ago but i didn't like how it foiled because i was working with a different laser printer and i never released it but i still had it in my collection and i decided to just use it for this week i think it looks kind of bad it don't look that great but i already laid it down and my paper was already ripping and all that so I was like, all right, I'm gonna just roll with it. Um, other than that, just ignore the foil underneath the date covers, and it's a pretty cute spread. But also for this week, uh, or for this video, I guess, I decided that I'm not going to go through everything that I did during the week, because it's not, I didn't really do anything that fun or crazy, I just read a lot. Um, so I guess going over some of the highlights, Anyway, I, the reason why I introduced that or why I even said that is because I think I'm going to do another tag video um, Some of you guys actually really did like the uh, Tag video that I did a few weeks ago. So I think it'd be fun to do it again this week um, before this week in general I read like I said I finished one Two oh no, okay, so I only finished two books but started the third book in the series that I was reading this week and it is called An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I love that fucking series. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But no, I love that series so much that I finished the first book in a day and then I read the second book in a couple of days and then started the third book on Sunday. And honestly, if you guys haven't read it and are looking for a new series to read, I highly recommend it. It's kind of... It's not that long, it's only four books, um, but it's kind of like a hefty book, I think, um, for all of them, but I loved it so much, and that was part of the reason why I did not finish reading These Violent Delights, the book that I mentioned in my last video. Um, but other than reading a lot, I worked up a whole bunch. I was upset because of the family issues that I talked about this week, and... That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's basically all I did this week. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about any of the stickers that I used or whatever, just leave them down below and I will answer your question there. But I did find a tag called the TMI tag questions. I'm not going to go over every single one because there's like more than 50 of them. But I figured it would be kind of nice to just pick some questions that would be interesting or maybe something that you guys might we're just going to dive a little bit deeper into who I am because I did 
uh, receive um, a few new subscribers. Hello, welcome. And I'm sorry for the chaotic mess that I am. But okay, so the first question is what is your biggest turn off in a person? And honestly, it is dishonest people, but also people who don't really like to hold themselves accountable for things. Um, so I guess I just don't like people who are emotionally immature or whatever. It just, I realize now as a person, I value honesty and people who like or are willing to admit where they're wrong and are able to see growth from their mistakes. I think that's one of the biggest turnoffs if, if somebody is not able to do that. And I also know I'm imperfect, so I've definitely become somebody who doesn't really crave romantic partnerships or just new connections in general. Um, I know that there are things that I need to work on because like I said, everybody's imperfect and there are going to be moments where I don't like some of the things that I do or whatever and I've just grown into somebody that doesn't really want to have a partnership or that kind of romantic connection with anybody because I am still trying to figure out who I'm becoming and what I want to do with my life and all that stuff so anyway I don't even know why I decided to explain that little bit for that question but next question is are you like your zodiac sign suggests that you should be what why do they phrase that question like that am I like my zodiac sign um, yes, <laughs> I am a Scorpio, but I also think that we are misunderstood in general. Um, I did get a lot of people telling me that they were nervous to approach me or even talk to me because they thought I was an asshole or because of my RBF that I was just mean or whatever, but I'm not guys. If for some reason I'm ever at a planning event and you guys are there and want to like come up to me just do it. <laughs> like, I'm actually really, really nice. I know I have RBF or whatever, but I don't think that has anything to do with my personality. Um, I am very fiery. Like, the Scorpio are known for being, like, the fire signs out of the water signs or whatever. But, um, yeah, I feel like there are certain aspects to Scorpio where I feel like I'm not. But that also has to do with, like, your rising sign and your moon sign and all that stuff. But if you guys are curious, my big three is I'm a Scorpio sun, a Libra moon, and a Virgo rising. What are your guys' big threes? I would love to know. Um, but also the next question is, some of these are piping hot, but we ain't gonna talk about that on my channel. Um, but the next question that I'm willing to answer is, do you have any hidden piercings? If yes, where? I do have a tongue piercing. Um, when I was younger, I used to get piercings nonstop. Like it would be kind of like an obsession, um, kind of related to like other things like mental health and stuff like that. But um, I did used to have a whole bunch of like ear piercings. I had my Medusa pierce, which is the philtrum. I used to have my nostril pierced on both sides and lip piercings. But currently I only have my tongue piercing, which is a little bit hidden. Um, and the next one is, do you have any tattoos? If yes, what do they mean? I have two back tattoos, which were done by my ex. So one of them I'm willing to cover up because it's so, so light. Um, but it's basically a really effed up geisha. And I am going to cover it up with an artist who is great at their craft. And I really want a geisha wearing a kabuki mask on a dragon. And I wanted to fill up my back. But honestly, the back was one of the worst areas that I've ever gotten tatted in my life. Um, but the other tattoo that I have on my back are music notes. And then I have a hibiscus flower inside of a triangle on my arm. Not really sure what it means. I just kind of did it on the fly. Which I think, sure, tattoos can have meaning. But also, if you just like how it looks, baby, get it. It doesn't matter. Uh, so the next question is, do, have you ever been betrayed by someone you care about? Yes. And I feel like everybody goes through a situation like that, but it's one of the most heartbreaking experiences that you can, my God, um, that you can ever go through. And yeah, that was one of the most devastating things that I've been through, um, in the past like five years. And the next question is... What does this mean? Have you ever danced without leaving room for Jesus? What What does that mean, guys? 
Someone please explain to me what that question means. Have you ever danced without leaving room for Jesus? I don't... What? That was a weird question. <laughs> Moving on. If you could get married to any celebrity, who would it be? I feel like you guys already know this. My answer. It's any member of BTS, but most specifically, Yoongi. Um, next question is... If you had to live in the world of the last TV show you watched, where would you be living? I would be living in Harry Potter. Well, no, that's not a TV show. I um, attempted to watch Secrets of Dumbledore and I didn't like it. Um, TV show, what was the last TV show I watched? Okay, so the last TV show that I watched was Rings of Rings of Power. Mm. As long as it's peaceful and I'm not out like trying to like fight for my fucking life, then yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, the last TV show that I watched was Rings of Power. Next is mention a movie that always makes you cry. Grave of the Fireflies. If you guys have never seen Grave of the Fireflies and just want a good cry session, definitely give that one a shot. Um, that, I've only watched it once and I will never go back to that movie uh, because I know every single time that I watch it, it's just going to like make me hysterically sob because it's that freaking sad. It talks about family and you're following the point of view of a brother and sister. Oh my God, I want, I'm tearing up thinking about it. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a movie that will help you cry, definitely give, give Grave of the Fireflies a shot because that was awful and it was an awful experience, but very humbling. Um, so next question is, what is the scariest thing you have ever experienced? I can name one off of the top of my head. Um, it's very, very personal, so I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I had a friend who needed my help because of things that were happening that night, and I had to pick them up from a very, very scary situation, and that, it was like three in the morning, and I was speeding down the highway and also running through red lights because I was nervous about some things, but yeah, that was one of the scariest experiences that I've ever dealt with and ever had to go through. Next question is, <laughs> what is a weird thing you love? Okay, I don't know if it's weird, but there is a meme video of this cat where it's this Italian guy yelling at a stray cat outside of his house. If I can find the video, I will link it down below, but let me insert a freaking photo of this cat because, oh my God, it looks like it has some issues. It looks like it's seen some shit, but it is the cutest thing to me. And I love that cat. So yeah, that is the weirdest thing that I love, I feel like, but I don't know. What a, what a cute baby. Next is what is the biggest fear you have overcome? Uh, my biggest fear and one of the most debilitating fears that I have is the fear of death. And I did have to overcome that this year, uh, twice. So, um, it was kind of like a slap in the face and definitely was a really, really hard experience. I didn't anticipate, well, obviously there's no way that you can freaking anticipate that kind of event, but it was such a hard time and I'm still healing from it, of course. And, um, the stuff that's happening with my family is not making it any better. And honestly, that is the only thing that is keeping me from being happy currently is the drama of everything that's going on but also i feel like that person who's causing like this drama to our family hasn't given us a chance to heal because we are reopening wounds and because of their own grief and the way that they're handling their own grief and putting it on people like that and blaming other people for things that is evil and it's something that I'm fighting with every single day after my grandma had passed and I'm getting a little emotional about it, but I just think that's unfair of that person. And I just really hope that this, I just want it to end, like the whole situation, I really want it to end. And I'm hoping that there will be a time very, very soon where we all can finally heal from everything or just start that journey to healing because my biggest fear was highlighted twice this year and there wasn't that, like, it happened so close together. And also I didn't expect, and I didn't know that death makes people act crazy. 
um, or act just out of pocket. And also, yeah, that was just awful. And I'm still going through it now. And I really, really hope that it will finally just end and my family and I will be able to start the journey to healing and because that's my biggest fear and I had to go through it it's making me stumble over my words currently because um it's something like I said it's something that I'm still going through and I'm still fighting with every single day but yeah so that is the last question that I'm going to answer for this video I do hope you guys liked it and I know I ended the video on a really kind of like depressing and also grace like topic or whatever but I actually want to introduce more videos like that on my channel talking about like mental health and all of that because I'm a very big advocate for mental health because of the things that I've experienced but the things that I feel like should be um, open for discussion but yeah anyway so this is the spread in full I do hope you guys enjoyed it I really love how this spread turned out I love the colors and I can't wait to finally start or like catching up and sharing my fall spreads with you and I haven't been planning very much lately, but I do hope that I can upload another video at the end of this week. And yeah, so I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more tag videos, let me know. And I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!